Today we have the song Pop Goes the Weasel. It's a song you might be familiar with. If not, you could probably listen to it on the computer. Uh, search the melody and you'll be able to hear it there. In this particular song, you also have the octave up, the high D. You'll see it right here on the third line of our song. So watch out for those high notes. Make sure to play the octave up and not the one that would be lower. It won't make the melody sound quite right. Uh, for today's example, why don't you try playing it at different tempos, which means faster or slower. It's actually marked allegro, which means fast. Um, but don't start it that way. If it's your first time playing through this song, you'll want to start it slower. So try it slow, which would be adagio. Try it medium, which would be moderato, before getting to allegro. And uh, this one's a fun song to play. You might also want to vary it by starting slowly and gradually speeding up. Um, that's one way that you can make this song more interesting. But don't practice any bad habits uh, while you're doing that. Try not to pause between the measures or between the notes. Try to make sure that they are uh, in rhythm even if you're gradually speeding up you can still make sure that you have a steady beat as far as not pausing and stopping. Um, it's real easy in this one since there's only three things in each measure, uh, either three notes or three rests or a combination. Uh, sometimes you'll want to add in that fourth thing or a fourth beat. So be careful not to do that because if you do that, uh, you won't have the proper rhythm for this song. Give it a try. Pop Goes the Weasel. My name is B.B. Fuzz, 